in Japan, there is one thing people often ask to a single female. Why don't you get married? I have been asked this question thousands of times. I always answer, I'm happy with current situation, so I don't have any motivation to change it. When people hear my answer, 99% of them look unconvinced and try to convince me to get married. Especially, my grandmother is angry with me, saying every time she sees me, I cannot die calmly without seeing you in a wedding dress. <laughs> As I have been asked the same question for more than 10 years, I started to wonder why so many people concerned themselves with getting married? And this question brought me to examine the origin of such thinking. So today, I would like to introduce you some aspects of Japanese marriage and family, two things which are different from Western culture. One. Japanese are conscious that all individuals have a responsibility for the family role they play. For example, it is considered that Japanese uh, children should take care of their parents when they get old. So recently, nursing homes have become widely spread in Japan. Um, and our thinking has been changing over time, but still, uh, the people think letting complete strangers do everything for your parents is not morally good, even if the children pay for the nursing home. Number two, Japanese marriage is very family oriented. If my boyfriend and I get married, I'll be a part of his family. I have to consider his parents are as important as my parents. Moreover, uh, it is considered that a wife of the oldest son have the biggest responsibility of taking care of their parents. So since he's the only son, I have to look after them. This obligation has less rigid nowadays, but still the idea stays deep inside our mind. So as I researched, I found that these ideas are created by a government policy in 1898 named the family system. Around that era, Western countries came to Japan and showed off their military power. The Japanese government got so scared and they thought we should build a strong country to survive. Therefore, they established the family system to organize the smallest social units of, uh, so smallest units of society in such a way that it could control the citizens and uh, create a strong military. So here are some rules of the system. One. Head of the family is the oldest man. All other family members have to obey him. Number two, the brothers in the family will be ranked by the order of birth. So oldest brother will take over all family property. So this is created because the government wanted to prevent the family strife. And number three, the oldest son have to take care of his parents. So government could ensure this uh, stable nation without having uh, social security. This rule was abolished after the World War II when the idea of freedom came to Japan. So the family was linked to the uh, nation's benefits. So this fact is not what I expected before starting to research the topic. I thought this was the culture 
created by thousands of uh, created through thousands of years of history based on Confucianism. So I'm, I'm very happy that now I have right to decide what to do. So now I'd like to introduce what how marriage is in Japan currently. So one is konkatsu. Konkatsu is activity for find your, finding your marriage partner. So if you say, I'm doing konkatsu, <laughs> somebody would introduce you to someone. Japanese are, in general, not used to find a partner proactively, and there's a reason behind. Before World War II, most of the Japanese marriage are uh, arranged marriages. And after the World War II, until the mid um, 1980s, companies arranged chances to meet. Because until that time, women were considered as a candidate of marriage for male employees. So based on the silent society rules, women had to quit their job after they get married or they got, got older than 25. So the company could hire a constant number of young marriage candidates every year. So we can say we have only 25 years history of finding a partner without things being arranged. Now we have konkatsu. This konkatsu word erased our hesitation. So riding on this konkatsu boom, now many companies provide konkatsu events that single women and men can join. For example, cooking school provides cooking lessons with unknown men and women. And baseball stadium provides what baseball konkatsu, watching baseball with unknown people. <laughs> and farmers provide farming konkatsu, doing farming together. I like this boom because now shy Japanese are trying to have a, take a action and change their life. And second term is kizunakon. Kizunakon means marriage for a bond. After the Japanese earthquake last year, Japanese are more aware of the importance of bond. And it is said that the number of people who get married has increased. The Japanese who experienced the earthquake thought they were going to die at that time. So now people say, if I die, I want to die next to the person I love. Or we don't know when we will die, so we should choose the way of life without regret. So it is quite reasonable that uh, the number of marriage has increased. I remember a story of a woman who lost her husband in the tsunami. She said that morning she was so busy preparing her children's lunch boxes and she forgot to say have a good day to him before he left home. She still regrets that she didn't see his face and say have a good day because this was the last chance for her to see him. Regardless of being married or not married, to have a loving partner around is a precious thing. Thank you. Thank you.